Hey guys. Okay, so no, really, really, I am so happy to be sitting down and filming right now. You guys have no idea how much I have missed sitting down to do this. I don't want to take too long like talking right now because I want to kind of get into the tutorial and get into the questions that you guys have to ask me. But I just very quickly wanted to say that I know I have not posted on YouTube in quite some time. I think it's been like six months since the last time I posted a video. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know that my life over the last six months has been crazy in the best way possible um but it has been crazy this has definitely been the year of change um for me personally over the last six months me and chris bought a house renovated a house we're in the middle of planning a wedding um i had two huge business opportunities that came my, my way as you guys know i work with boxy charm a lot and i've been doing a lot of stuff with them which is amazing it's so cool and i actually started working with another company um i don't really know how much i'm allowed to say to be 100 honest um i know i had to sign a non-disclosure so i'm not going to say what the company is just because i don't want to cause any issues but it's a big company and i'm doing all of their training videos for their entire beauty department which is like the coolest thing in the world to me because you guys know that I love to teach about makeup and talk about makeup. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know our wedding was a destination wedding. That just made it a little bit more difficult and a little more stressful to plan because it wasn't just planning one day. It was planning excursions, a welcome barbecue, a rehearsal dinner, the actual day of the wedding, um, breakfast every day for everyone. Like, it was just so many little details that I had to plan and so many things that I had to do. So it was just very overwhelming. And um, with so many good, exciting, happy things happening, I kind of got to the point that I was just stressed all the time. I started realizing that I wasn't even feeling happy or excited about all of these amazing things that me and Chris were doing because I was so stressed and so overwhelmed with how much was happening at one time. So I kind of took a step back and I was like, okay, I cannot continue to just be stressed and in a bad mood all the time because I'm so overwhelmed. I really need to start prioritizing and kind of stop spreading myself so thin. So unfortunately, um, when I got to that point, the only thing at the moment that I was able to cut back on in my life was social media, YouTube, all of my content creating that I love doing so much. So I had to take a little bit of a break, a little bit of hiatus from this, but I'm so happy to be back. You have no idea how much I love sitting down and filming these videos. So. I just wanted to share with you guys very quickly so you know here on YouTube, if you don't follow me on my other social medias, where I've been, what's been going on. That's kind of like the short little recap of it. Um, I could go on and on and go on more into detail, but I'm not going to do that right now. Of course, I have my coffee. Would it be a WD makeup video if I didn't have a coffee? But um, we're married. We're in our home that we live in together now that we kind of built together. Um, no more wedding planning. So even though a little part of me is, I'm not sad but it's kind of like oh my god the whole engagement and that whole magical time of like being so in love and oh my god part of you kind of part of me at least when the wedding and everything was over and we were on the plane right back part of me kind of felt sad like oh my god it's all done and over with but that's not the reality of it like i mean we have the rest of our lives to love each other and to make more and more memories so it's just really exciting and really happy that we're here and we took time to celebrate our love for each other and to do all these things together and now that we're home and everything is over, it's time to focus on work and focus on what we were focusing on before all of this amazing craziness happened. So I went ahead and I went on Instagram and I kind of told you guys I was going to be sitting down and filming this video today. I will be showing you guys my most recent go-to look, which I will talk more about now when I start showing you guys the look. But I also told you guys that this is going to be like a chatty video. So to go ahead and send me some questions that you guys wanted to ask me specifically about Costa Rica, which is where me and Chris have had our wedding, if you guys didn't know. We've been there three times now. I've been to five different parts of Costa Rica, so I know a lot of you guys are constantly messaging me, asking me about Costa Rica. So I asked you guys if you wanted to know anything about Costa Rica, if you wanted to know anything about the wedding, if you wanted to know anything about home renovations or anything like that, and to go ahead and send me those questions on Instagram so I could talk about them in today's video. So before I jump into all of your questions that I'm so excited to answer, I wanna talk very quickly about this look I'm gonna be showing you guys right now. I'm gonna kind of be doing my makeup, answering questions, and then kind of talking through what it is that I'm doing with my makeup all at the same time. A very Debbie video, multitasking, getting a lot of stuff done at once. So as I was mentioning before, my life has been 500 billion miles per hour in a good way, but it's been a little crazy. So I really haven't had a lot of time to sit down and relax and do my makeup and take 30, 40, 50 minutes blending my eyeshadow out. 
as I normally would love to. I really haven't had time for all of that lately. So this look I'm gonna show you has actually been kind of a go-to look for me. This was actually the look that I did on myself basically the entire trip in Costa Rica. The only thing that changed with this look here and there was the lip color. And today I'm gonna to be doing a really fun lip color that I have been super obsessed with. After the first day that I wore this look with this lip color, that was the lip color that I wore like the rest of the trip because I just loved it so much. So this is like a very glam, very pretty, very bronzed, glowy summer look that takes like about 30 minutes to do. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see the magic happen a little bit easier. Woo! First things first guys, I pretty much always do my makeup as soon as I get out of the shower. So I get out of the shower, I do my whole skincare routine with my beauty oil, my moisturizers, oh my crap, you know? So my skin is usually already pretty moisturized by the time that I sit down to start filming. Filming, by the time I start, by the time I sit down to start doing my makeup, but I did just shower and freshly wash my face and everything, so I am in the same position I am normally in. If you hear any like thunder and stuff in the background, it is like monsooning outside of my house right now, so you guys know. And if you hear little feet running around, those are just my dogs running in and out of the room that I'm filming in. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and prime my eyes, and then I'm gonna set them with a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Like I always do, nothing new here. This is like a very quick step. And actually, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and start answering some of your questions. Okay, so the first question that I got was, where do you recommend to go in Costa Rica with children? So like, it's a big family vacation. Okay, so you can go anywhere in Costa Rica with your family, to be 100% honest. It depends what you're looking for. If you're going with your family, I would probably say you'd wanna get a little bit of like everything in Costa Rica. So I would say to either go to Papagayo, which is where me and Chris stayed after the wedding, or to go to Manuel Antonio. And the reason why is because in both of those places, you get a really nice combination of like beach and rainforest. My personal favorite place in all of Costa Rica is Manuel Antonio, which is where we did our wedding. And the reason why is that it's just got the most beautiful views. It's like the most beautiful scenery and it's the perfect combination of both rainforest and beach. And in my Juan Antonio, you have a couple options. Like if you're going on a big family vacation, what's nice to do there is there is an area called Tulemar, which is, they have a bunch of um, like large homes and you can like rent a big house. You can rent like a five bedroom house. You can rent like a six bedroom house and you can rent a three bedroom house. You can rent like a house and everyone can kind of stay together. And that specific community is actually, they have their own beach. So you can kind of like walk down to the beach, they have a restaurant at the beach, they have a bar at the beach. And then you can take excursions to go by water rafting, to go pretty much anywhere. But it's within a town, it's a small town. So, you know, it's very local. Like you call a cab and like you go through like the little pueblos and like you meet a lot of locals and everyone's really nice. And me and Chris just really, really, really love Manuel Antonio. But if you want um, more of a resort type feel, then definitely go to Papagayo. And Papagayo, I'm gonna tell you honestly, Papagayo is to me the most beautiful beach in all of Costa Rica. The beach in Manuel Antonio is, it's nice, it's okay. But if like you're from Florida and you've been to like Miami Beach, you're not gonna be very impressed with the beach in Manuel Antonio. Papagayo, the way that it works is it's like its own little peninsula. You have to go through a guard gate to get in. And then in that area, there's only three hotels and everything else is privately owned homes. There's no taxis in there. There's no local little cities there. There's no like pueblos, there's no local restaurants. It's all resorts. So if that's what you're into, Papagayo is definitely the place to go. The beach there, like I said, is beautiful. But if you're more into meeting locals and you know being in the towns and trying out local restaurants and like really getting a feel for like Costa Rican culture, Manuel Antonio is the way to go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis Palette, which is this beauty right here. I talked about this on my Instagram story. I am so in love with this palette. I think it was $23, don't quote me on that, but I'm 99% sure it's $23. I'm gonna go in with the color Sand right here, which is this nice neutral creamy shade. And I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone like I always do. Like right now, I'm going really slow doing this makeup look because I'm answering questions and I'm talking you guys through it, but normally this makeup look literally takes takes me 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so the next question is, how many guests did you have that were able to sign that champagne champagne bottle? Love the idea. Okay, so I'll put a little clip of it right here. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know, but um, me and Chris, we had to get married in the US before we got to Costa Rica because um, 
bringing your wedding license, like transferring it to the US from Costa Rica is a little bit of a mission and it takes quite some time. So our wedding planner told us that it was just easier to get married here legally, sign the papers here, and then um, just have like the ceremony in Costa Rica. So what I did was I bought a three liter, like huge bottle of champagne of me and Chris's favorite champagne. And the night that we signed the papers here at our house with our family, so we had our family over and we did like a little wedding ceremony because um, our grandparents weren't going to Costa Rica for the wedding. So we did like a little mini ceremony here so they could be here for that. So that night we opened the bottle of champagne and we all drank it. And then I took the bottle with us to Costa Rica and that was our sign in book for the wedding. We had all of our friends and family sign it and write us little letters in the champagne bottle. And now the champagne bottle lives in our little bar area in our house. So it's like a little reminder of our wedding every time we see it. So we had 53 people at the wedding. So you guys know, and everyone was able to sign the bottle. If you have more than 53 people, it's probably gonna be hard to like, I don't know, maybe our guests just wrote like really big or they wrote like a lot because they had the space to do it. But yes, we had 53 people and 53 people signed the bottle. So now that my brow bone is nice and highlighted, I'm gonna go in with this color right here called Canyon, which is this beautiful warm toned matte. So I'm just gonna blend this through my crease. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna tilt my head back like this. I'm gonna start right in here which is the hollowest part of my eye and start working it out and in as so. And then, you know, I always swoop my eyeshadow out. I was actually teaching my mom and my sister how to do this before the wedding so they could do their makeup. And they were going like this and flicking it up. You're really not supposed to flick it up. When you do that, it's gonna give you like this weird like thing happening here. What you wanna do is you wanna follow the curve of your eye and almost make your eye appear more straight. You see how I'm bringing it kind of like straight out? Like how it goes and kind of go straight out without flicking it up. What that's gonna do is gonna make your eye look longer. And then I always like to blend the eyeshadow in here up into like almost into my eyebrow because it just gives this really beautiful effect to the eye that you have like a very prominent brow bone right here and that your eye is wider. It's just playing with the shape of your eye. But I feel like that's what works best for me. And actually that's what makeup by Ariel does on Kylie Jenner. He like brings her eyeshadow pretty far up here. It gives you like a very done up and glam look without really doing much. It's just the way that you're blending in the eyeshadow. Which red lipstick is your go-to favorite? When I wanna wear just like red, like not orange red, not pink red, like just red, I always wear Too Faced Melted Matte Lady Balls. Best formula, best color. It's just for me overall, like that is my perfect red. What was the most difficult decision I had to make regarding the home renovations in our house? Um, I don't think there was one difficult decision. There was numerous difficult decisions. Very quickly, I'm gonna start doing the next step. All I'm gonna do, this is like one of those steps that a lot of people skip, but it really, really, really does make a huge difference in your makeup and it takes like five seconds to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Actually, this is a Super Shock Cheek. This is like one of their highlights. This is in the color Wisp. This is basically the same thing as like cutting your crease almost just by putting down like a lighter color underneath. It really helps whatever shadow you put on top to really, really, really pop. I just think that these ColourPop Super Shock shadows are a lot easier to work with and they're a lot faster to work with than a concealer is. So what I do is I lay this down, like a nice layer of it with my finger all the way across my lid and then I'll take a concealer brush, just any regular old concealer brush, pick some up on the concealer brush like this and then I'll just go along the edges and kind of carve out my crease to give it like a little bit more of a precise look. When it came to the home renovations, I wouldn't say there was really any hard decisions. All my decisions just took a really long time. Like I'm not the type of person that you can tell me like, oh, we need to paint tomorrow. And I pick a paint color by tomorrow. Like I need like at least two or three weeks to pick a paint color. Cause I need to get samples of 20 different colors, paint the like little swaps, swipe, swipes of them on the wall, see how they look during different times of the day. So there really wasn't one hard decision. Um, they were just lengthy decisions. Does that kind of make sense to you guys? BTW, love how your house came out. Thank you. What was your favorite part slash memory? So the whole wedding, we literally celebrated our wedding from a Wednesday to a Saturday. I would say my favorite moment was, um, like I said before, I'm like kind of a perfectionist. When it comes to planning things or doing things, I really want things to be as perfect as possible. If not, I just don't want to do them at all. So I put a lot of thought, I put a lot of time into things um, that I do. You can imagine that planning the wedding was very, one of the most stressful experiences of my life. And when you mix that in with the home renovations and the buying of the house and work and 
you can only imagine. So I had so much fun on the wedding trip, but I definitely, definitely had my moments that I was stressed out just because of timing. There was a few moments of, oh my God, stress. So the day of the wedding um, was honestly pretty stressful. So we were like running around, going crazy. These pictures, that picture is, oh my God, this, that. Like 10 minutes after we finished taking pictures, they brought me and Chris like a snack from the pre-ceremony cocktail hour. So we ate very quickly the little snack and then they're like, okay, time for the ceremony. Let's go, get up, like we gotta go. And I was like, oh my God. So we literally had like 10 minutes of the like, let's just talk and have a conversation after not seeing each other all day. And like, it's time for the ceremony. Then after the ceremony, we came down and it was more pictures. It was family pictures. It was like, just go, 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 going crazy. So then they announced us. We walked in like to our little like dancing into the, into the reception. And like, we didn't sit at a table by ourselves. We sat at a table with our families, with our parents, my, the maid of honor, which was my sister, um, our siblings, the best man. And I kind of just like sat down and it was the first moment of that's it. Like the craziness is done. Now it's just relax and enjoy. And I just started crying. <laughs> I literally just started crying because like it was in that moment, like I'm getting teary eyed talking about it right now. It was in that moment, like I was just so overwhelmed with emotion. I felt so like, I was just so happy that we decided to take the time to like celebrate the fact that we love each other so much and that we've been able to find each other and like put in the time and put in the effort to make this work. And I just felt so grateful that our families um, support us so much emotionally and like just in every way you can think. And I just felt so grateful that all of our closest family and friends like really made it a point to be there for us that day. And like, it was kind of just like everything hit me like a train in that moment that I like, I literally walked up with me and Chris sitting on a couch and I literally walked to the couch and I sat down and I looked around and I just started crying. Like I couldn't, cause I was just so, I was finally able to like take it all in and just like relax after the whole day, after the last three days of craziness. And I think that was, that was my favorite. That was my favorite moment of the entire wedding, just realizing how lucky we are and just being so overcome with emotion and happiness and gratefulness. And I don't even know how to describe it. It was just like my favorite moment of the whole wedding. Okay, on a lighter note. So now I'm gonna go back into the, des the Desert Dusk palette and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, which is called Utopia. It's like a really bronzed golden color. And I'm gonna pick some of that up on my brush and I'm just gonna pack that in all over my eye where I just put down that ColourPop shadow. So someone just asked me, how much did you spend on your wedding? If you don't mind me asking, I'm not gonna give the exact number of what we spent, but um, keep in mind that you do get a lot more for your money when you don't have your wedding, at least in Miami. We spent a lot less money than we would have spent if we would have had it here because we had a lot less people over there and you kind of get more for your money over there. Did you have a wedding planner to set up the location and everything? 150 freaking percent, yes. Actually, what I did is I found the venue where I wanted to do the wedding at and I will link the venue below for you guys in the description box. That venue is basically a huge house. The staff there was like that place. They surpassed my expectations. They were the sweetest, nicest, most amazing people. They were so accommodating. My family, Chris's family stayed in that house. And in that house is actually where we had the wedding and where we had the reception. That's where we had our rehearsal dinner. That's where we had our welcome barbecue. Like we did all the events in that house. That house is set up to have events inside of. When I reached out to the people that, you know, run the house to see about booking and pricing, they sent me like a list. Like they have a bunch of recommended vendors and my wedding planner is one of their recommended vendors. I will also link my wedding planner's website below. Their company is called Tropical Occasions and they are freaking amazing and awesome and I love them. But I feel like if you are having a destination wedding and you don't have a planner, it's like next to impossible. Like who do you rent tables from? Who do you rent chairs from? Who do you, like how do you find caterers? Like how do you do anything without a wedding planner in another country that you don't know anyone, you know? Like it's crazy. I'm gonna go with some of the Mario Budescu water. So very quickly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my MAC strobe cream. This is another step that if you are really, really, really in a rush, you can skip, but if you have an extra two seconds to spare, you can do it. I literally just take it like this and I just put a couple dots on all the high points of my face where I'm gonna put highlighter later on because you know I like to be glowy. Take your damp sponge, blend it up. So now for foundation, 
Again, this is in a rush, in a rush foundation, guys. I have been really obsessed with the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. This primer is so good. It's like a jelly type formula, so it feels very cooling and very hydrating on the skin. I'm gonna put about that much on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna take my most recent favorite go-to foundation. I'm gonna put some of this, and I've been using this NARS. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I freaking adore this foundation. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put two pumps. The pumps are very small, like not that much comes out. I'm actually gonna put a pump and a half because three pumps is too much. And all that's gonna do is just kinda like dilute the foundation and make it a little bit thinner. And as you, as you noticed, I did not put primer all over my face. So this is like a primer and foundation one and done type situation. So I'm taking my damp sponge. This is just my Morphe beauty sponge. I'm gonna pick some up on the sponge and go to town. Can we see your wedding makeup look? Yes, 100%. If you guys want a video on my wedding makeup look, I will definitely film that for you guys. A couple of you guys have actually messaged me already asking me to do that. So I'll definitely get that done for you guys. Okay, so now that we've got our base laid down, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little concealer. And guys, you know me, Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me is um, what I'm doing. It's like my favorite concealer. It's one of my favorite concealers. I love this concealer so much. And then actually, I've really been loving lately the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. It's like really good. It's just very full coverage. It's very thick. It's very tacky. So you have to be really careful with this. Like if you put it too close under your eyes, it is a creasy freaking disaster. So I like to take this and literally just put like a couple swipes down here, like way down here, away from my eyes. I'm gonna put a little dot right here. Little dot here, little dot on my chin. Someone asked, best beaches and areas to stay in Costa Rica. We are going next July for a wedding. Okay, like I said before, the best beach by far, by far, the best beach in Costa Rica is definitely in Papagayo. The beach is beautiful. And there's a lot of like sea life and stuff in Papagayo, but it's just more of like a Costa Rica feel in Manuel Antonio. Any excursions to do that you can recommend? Okay, so honestly, my favorite excursion that we do when we go to Costa Rica is the white water rafting. Water rafting is such a trip and it's just like a fun thing that everybody can do. And then obviously if you like are like like fishing, the fishing in Costa Rica is awesome and it's definitely like an experience. So now that everything is nice and blended out, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Maybelline loose setting powder. I'm gonna take the flat side of my sponge and I am just going to buff out any creasing that may have happened right here under my eyes. And using my, that little bit of powder, I'm just gonna press it in right there. And then I like to put some here on the sides of my nose too, like right around this area where I have larger pores because it helps um, me from getting oil breakout and it also helps to hide my pores a little bit. And then to set the rest of my face, I just go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Medium Golden. You know this is my ride or die. I love this for setting my whole face. And I just took a nice big fluffy brush and press this in all over my skin. Okay, so what was your favorite part of your wedding and photos of your dress, please? I know that I posted like no pictures from the wedding and it's just because I honestly took no pictures that day. Like I said, like during the getting ready process and all that, it was just so crazy. Like we were going a million miles per hour and then once the actual wedding, like I sat down and we kind of had dinner, we relaxed and everything kind of calmed down. I was just having such a good time having so much fun that the last thing that I was thinking of was taking pictures. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Braun Tour from Morphe in the color Celebutant. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this bronzer. Oh, and I'm using a Morphe M551 to do this because again, this is a big brush and it just puts the bronzer slash contour in all the right places quickly. I promise you guys that as soon as I get more pictures from the photographer, um, I will go ahead and post them. I loved my dress. I wanted something very simple. I didn't go too crazy. I just wanted something very like simple and soft and I didn't want anything to overpower me. And like, if you've ever met me in person, I'm extremely short. I'm literally five foot flat. And I feel like people don't really understand that until they see me in person. Even I'm starting to notice how short I am recently. So I just put this on my forehead cheekbones, a little under the tip of my nose, and then whatever's up over on the brush, I will dust it around my jawline to help give just a little bit more definition. But that's really it. So this little technique that I do really has not changed. I'm still taking the Desi Perkins and Katie um, Meet I May highlight that they did with Dose of Colors. Mine's almost done. I really need to get another one. I hope that they bring this back. And I'm using my Morphe M500. I'm just gonna swirl it around in here. And I'm gonna very lightly dust this over the high points of my face. I don't like to go too crazy with this because like I said, it's been very hot. So if you go too crazy with this stuff, you will look like a greasy chicken. 
And then, as I've been doing for quite some time, I'm just gonna take this highlight right here from Oprah Cosmetics. This is their, I, I always forget, it's Rodeo Drive. 99% sure it's Rodeo Drive. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on a much smaller brush, and I'm just gonna put this on the very highest point of my cheek, right there. With my finger, I'm gonna put a little bit right here on the tip of my nose, and blend it out with another finger, and then I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And then with my finger, I'll also put a little right here on my cupid's bow. And then I'll put a very small amount right on top of my eyebrows. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do on my face is apply a little bit of blush. Lately I've been using the Morphe 9B palette for my blush. This has really been like my go-to little blush palette. It just has everything. So I mixed together this color and the darkest color because I just like how warm that dark color is. It's just a little bit too dark for my skin tone. And I'll go like this and just put a little bit right here on my cheeks. So let me pull up another question now before we finish up the eyes. What is your favorite part of Costa Rica? Like I said before, Manuel Antonio is my favorite part, but honestly, in La Fortuna, the resort that me and Chris um, got engaged in does hold a little bit of a special place in my heart. I love that place. It's amazing. If you ever want to go like, on a really, really, really romantic like couples vacation, Niagara Springs is where it's at, guys. That place is the shit. Okay, so going back now, I'm gonna pick up my Desert Oasis palette once again, and I'm gonna go into the color Canyon, which is the same color that I put in the crease. I'm using just a little pencil brush. This is the Morphe R41. It's my favorite lower lash line brush. I'm just going to smoke out my whole lower lash line with that one color, and that's it. I'm just dragging this up to meet the top to give me that nice little effect on the eyes. For how long were you planning your wedding? I planned our wedding. I'm trying to get engaged in May, we were engaged for a year and two months before we got married, which I'm gonna tell you guys honestly, I think it was too long. I tell everyone, I'm like, if I could go back in time, I would have had a three to six month engagement. It was just way too long. I mean, I understand that we had a destination wedding, we had to give everybody time and let, tell everybody in advance. And you know, if you want to need time, you can't just tell somebody two months before a vacation, like, hey, we're going on vacation. Sidetrack, we're gonna keep moving on. This is another little favorite trick that I have. Um, that makes a big difference in your makeup and it's an easy thing to do. This is the ColourPop Sculpting Stick and their highlight shade. This is just Releve, their highlight. But these are amazing. Like this little stick is the most amazing thing for inner corner highlight and for a brow bone highlight, like as a base. So what I do is I put some right there in my inner corner and I put them right here, just on the highest point of my brow. So I'm just gonna take this little brush and blend it out. I don't know what it was, but I just think that it was just too dragged out. Like I got to the point during our engagement that I was like, dude, enough. Like how are we not married yet? Like this is crazy. Like we're engaged for 14 months and you plan the wedding for 11 months. So now taking a little brush, I'm gonna go into, back into the highlight that I used for the high points of my face, Rodale Dry from Ofra. And I'm just gonna put that right on top of this right here on my inner corner. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing right here under my brow bone. So very quickly, I'm gonna do my brows and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put on my eyebrows and I also popped on some lashes. You guys know I love the Kiss Number 11 lashes, but I actually was out of Kiss Number 11s. That's what I normally wear with this look, so I used these instead. These are the, not these here. These are some of the lashes I customized, but these right here. These are the Pixie O2 lashes from Kiss. They're very, very, very similar. They're just a little bit thinner, but they're the same style, just a little bit thinner. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face as always. You guys know that I love the Milani setting spray. For me, this is the Ish. This and the Morphe setting spray are my two favorites. I actually usually use this and the Morphe setting spray in conjunction with one another, but my Morphe setting spray is upstairs and I don't feel like running up to get it. So we're just gonna use the Milani one right now. And once that setting spray kind of dries down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I've actually really been loving this. I got like a little sample size to try it out and it's really good, I really like it. I don't know if I like it better than my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but this is really good, I really like it. Okay guys, so we're pretty much done with the look. All that we're missing is lipstick. And this is the lipstick I was talking about in the beginning of the video. This is the Dose of Colors lipstick in the color Fresa that they made in collaboration with I Love Sarahi. This lipstick, guys, is so beautiful. Oh, here they, oh, hi guys. They just came in here with a purpose. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a pink red, I guess. Fresa is like the perfect name for it because it's like a strawberry. It's so beautiful. So with this look, as you can see, this look is like super neutral. You can wear whatever lipstick shade you'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on very quickly. 
So once you apply the lipstick, that is it, guys. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sending me all your questions. I had so much fun answering them. And again, I'm so happy to be back and filming again. My goal for you guys is to get at least one video up a week. And if I have a little bit of a slower week and I have some extra time, if I can get two up, that would be even better. But my goal is once a week. As I said earlier in this video, I know I was taking a while as I did this makeup look, but really, like in reality, this makeup look takes me anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast I move. But it's a really, really, really quick, easy to do makeup look. I was just going slow because I was explaining the techniques to you guys and talking about the products and showing you guys how to do it. But once you get a feel for the look and you kind of get used to the techniques, you do this so fast. So if you guys have any specific videos that you want to see from me, please comment below and let me know what they are. And if there's any questions that you want to ask me regarding any of the stuff that I talked about in this video, but you don't have Instagram or you didn't see my post, so you didn't get to ask me through Instagram, just go ahead and comment below and ask me those questions and I'll be responding back to all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.